Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Sins of Usar Empire Rebellion with the Outlaw Sector of DLC. Uh, so the game's paused at the moment. It's because I've noticed something that's uh, a little important. Um, first of all, we're under attack here by uh, a capital ship, which leads me to believe that more reinforcements are going to be arriving. Hopefully these guys are in the middle of turning around. Can I see that? No, I can't. But because these guys are facing the other way, I'm hoping these guys are turning around. Um, either way, I'm not going to dilly-dally anymore. I'm going to put some extra fortifications on there, so hopefully I'll be able to hold on to it a bit longer. And, um... Oh, crap, that's what to build. Hmm. Well, hope there'll be a hangar bay somewhere down here. Let's put another one down. And, uh, repair bay up here. I'm going to put them back here because I don't want them to keep getting destroyed. Um, I might put some turret defences up there, but we'll see what happens. And another very important thing is, uh, Pink's basically dead. Um... I don't know what happened with them, but it looks like Light Green's taken over their territory over here. And uh, they're just holding out at home for probably a few more minutes, and then they're going to die. Because that starbase is down to its hull. It's got a Titan attacking it, it's got a ton of Ogrovs. It can't last much longer under that. I mean, they're building a Titan, but I'm pretty sure that starbase is going to get destroyed, and they're not going to be in it for long. So we've got to finish off Red as fast as we can. Make sure we take as much of this territory. Looks like Orange has a similar idea to us. They have a lot of fleets, so I'm fairly comfortable in our ability to hold this place on our own. But, uh, yeah, let's just see what happens. Uh, oh, I didn't have enough metal for that. Fair enough. Yeah, let's put that down. And, uh, build one of those. And build some bombers and hopefully win the day over there. Alright, let's take this. Let's go over to this battle rather. Start bombing that planet and... Well... Hopefully we can finish this pretty quickly. Do you have a raised planet? You do, but you're not quite ready. Alright, start bombing. Okay, apparently there was something up the top there, but uh... Looks like we shut it down pretty handily. A friendly fleet has arrived. So yeah, sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird. I'm uh, recording this just as I got up because... I realised that I didn't quite have enough An episodes released, so I've got to upload this as soon as it's done recording, basically. So this is hot off the press. But, uh... Yeah, I got up late, then realised, oh crap, I need to record. Hopefully it doesn't sound as different to you as it does to me. Reporting in. Or at least not as nasally. It looks like Red are trickling in their reinforcements, which is good because we can just shoot them down as they approach. A power surge of great magnitude has been detected. Oh, they've got tons of weapons, don't they? Like long-range weapons. Yeah, Green's bombarding their capital with Novaliths. That makes me very concerned. Okay, that planet's got an uh, auxiliary Structure government. Complete. This one doesn't. Our backup is I'm going to build a starbase constructor, and I'm probably actually going to send it to this world down here, even though every single one of my worlds should have one. Buy a bit more metal, and with it, buy a few more ships. Insufficient metal. Let's stack up on long-range missile frigates. I think that's just going to be my game plan. Uh, long-range missile frigates, but are being um, yeah, it's good to have a mixture of everything else. We are doing a lot of damage to this world fairly quickly. We've already taken 2,000 of its hit points, but uh, we might need to act fast. Or even faster. It looks like uh, Orange are going to try and fight these guys. Whoa, they walk right on top of them. Okay, it looks like they are fighting. They're turning around to unity mass this guy. Won't do that much damage if there's not enough people next to it. Hopefully they're warping in reinforcements about a tactical turnaround. Oh, this could be an interesting fight though. It might not go orange way just because they've got the Titan. A friendly fleet has arrived. Although the Titan, they are really close to the Titan because they warped on top. The Coronado is suppressing all of these guys' weapons fire and movement. So that's... That's one of the best things I like about the Coronata and the uh, Loyalists in general for the Advent. They're all about buffs and debuffs. So uh, if they stack them right, you could be fighting a really buffed enemy with very little in your favour. They'll be reducing all your damage output and your speed and stuff. Ok, 
Okay, looks like they've got some reinforcements coming from this side. Hopefully they'll they'll be alright. I've got to Ah shit, I'm sending a Starbase constructor this way. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm gonna send a Starbase constructor to you. And you've got a Starbase there. I suppose it's alright that I've got a Starbase constructor because Um Well, I'm gonna need a Starbase at this world anyway. Some of my capital ships are leveled up, which is good. I'll get radiation bomb, I'll turn that off. A friendly fleet has arrived. I will grab rapid manufacturing. Allied forces are being uh, if we uh, run out of fighters, I believe we can use this to get a bunch more fighters. Yeah, so quick replenishment, that's pretty cool. Now some unlucky sword's gonna have to be the one to clear this minefield. Do we have any damaged ships? Not really. That's good. I hope she goes up doing their job. Let's, uh, let's see how well they can do it. You. No. You, because you're on the right plane. Go to there. And hopefully you live. Whatever you say. About there. Actually, you might not have been on the right plane. Looks like they're kind of above these mines. I wonder if that will cause them to trigger or not. Looks like some of them are rotating. Where's the target? They're rotating, but they're not detonating. I probably should have used a stronger ship. It might have survived. Titan has been ah, that sucks. Who's Titan? Oh, probably this one. Yeah. Pink is... Pink's in trouble. That Titan did not even last long. Oh, don't worry about Xenia for too long. It, it won't be an issue very soon. Okay, I'm guessing our guy didn't make it. And there's still a ton of mines left, which is annoying. I guess I'll just build a bunch of scouts. Or just completely ignore it. Oh, has my Rylas made it? It has. It's always shocking how quickly these Starbase constructors make it to their destination. Just send that over there, and then realise we should have. This is the one time we should have actually built our structures over there. Oh well. A friendly fleet has arrived. Got a trade port back here. And we should invest in capital capacity. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> I uh. I'll try, but I I don't the think that's going to help you. Oh, they've got a mine layer up there. I guess he just walked in because all my fighters are going after him now. Well, we've almost got this place. It's a shame they've got their culture up. Although it looks like it's receding pretty quickly. Yeah, our Titan will... Oh, hi there! Um, are you a pirate raid? No, you're just insurgents. Hopefully I won't get caught in that minefield. Reporting in. Hold steady. Yeah, We're you guys go in. fight them, take them out. Um, and build some trade ports, why not? Well, because I need auxiliary government, that's why. Alright. And down here. Structure complete. We are constantly low on metal. Just looking at our trade income versus everything else. Good thing is we're smuggling more than we're losing to smuggling, which is good. A friendly fleet has arrived. We're also making a lot of credits, and surprisingly we're actually making a lot of metal. I guess because we're just using it more that we're... That's why we're seeing the problems with it, but... That is interesting. Oops, already got that. Let's put down a little fighter. Hanger defense there. I'm putting down hanging defences around the starbase because these have flat cannons on them which will help sh shoot down enemy fighters and stuff which can just uh, destroy starbases pretty quickly if left to their own devices. Let's so just surround that guy in flak and then maybe put the gun up front and then we'll leave that to construct. That should, that should be there long enough for me to notice that it's under attack and help upgrade it more if necessary. 
Where do you need me? Um, you, I can colonize. You get more incendiary shells. Start shooting. Also, why is my Titan not my capital? My uh, fleet rally point, even. I should probably change that. So I'd much rather everything be gathering around the Titan than around the Akan. We'll see it done. An ally has lost their capital. We can no longer reach any of their forces. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, thank you. Served us well. I think. How can I be of service? I think you mostly died while we lived, but. A power surge of great magnitude has been detected. Our backup is joining the fight. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a bad place for that guy to spawn. Okay, the mines didn't go off though. That's good. All right, we're gonna need trade ports and broadcast centers up round here. Allied backup has arrived. Apparently, someone's trying to envoy us. A friendly fleet. And someone arrived. else is trying to bomb us. Of course. Alright, I'm gonna need some more weapons up here. Ah, oh, but I don't have the money. Development finished. Fine, I'll make money. Our backup is joining the fight. Our cannon is itching for a target. Alright, I think I'm gonna be strong enough to take on what's ever in there. So I'm just gonna advance. Especially seeing as per, uh, orange is also advancing. Don't know why I was about to call them purple. I guess they look purple in my eyes. Orange is doing a good job, good job of fighting these guys off here. They'll probably take the uh, the new capital of their empire, this Ferris planet. Ah, an Ogrov torpedo. Lots of Ogrov torpedo ships, of course. Hopefully my militia can take care of them. Because I do not have the structural integrity to fight them off here. Unfortunately the first weapon systems upgrade doesn't give me missiles, that's the second one. So I'm just going to upgrade my defensive structures, if I'll give them long enough to defend. Oh, I'm just shooting down my trade ships. A friendly fleet has arrived. I hope those Kodiaks go after the real threat, the Ogrovs. Alright, let's murder. So I think we're in a good position here. We just need to make sure we can wrap around and defend that ferris world that's under attack there. Our backup is because our home world's pretty well defended. This is the weakest point at the moment. I suppose perhaps even here. Although I don't expect any enemies to come from this direction. So I'm pretty sure this world is just going to be a fortified world. Are you... Send your reinforcements only to yourself, and then... Ah, uh, no, I won't complete. get one of those yet. Alright, take that guy out, that guy out, set you all around here. Eradicate Hopefully you'll take out the mining stations we on your own, and anyone who can bomb the planet do so. And, attack. We are under it. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some more weapons. Oh wow, are they close enough? That one ship is in weapons range. Alright, I'm actually going to go into research. That's extended range. Not the next one, damn it. I need one point in these ones though. I might quickly try and grab that point and then... Uh, no, it's not worth it. I should wait for the uh, actual missile upgrade. It might extend my range just enough. Alright, hopefully this upgrades faster. They're taking out my re repair platform, which is incredibly clever of them. A friendly fleet has arrived. Um, but they are... They di I did mean I had to move into range to shoot it. So uh, that I'm going to take out those Ogroth pretty quickly. Oh, and a Vasari have just fired their Vasari weapon at me. That sucks. Okay, fortunately it doesn't affect star bases. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll be alright there, because as they approach us to... When they've destroyed all these ships and they start approaching us, they'll be shooting at my star base, and uh, my star base will be able to take it. Attacked. Let's just put some more guns up there just to be sure. Perhaps even a repair platform, because I'm pretty sure that one's going to get destroyed. A friendly fleet has arrived. 
And let's build some more fighters and bombers. Okay, so this world's going to fall pretty quickly. Again, the only problem is the culture. Uh, we are going to need a culture station up here to repel that. And, um... Yeah, let's also put a couple defences up. Just in case. And let's give you fighters. Alright, cool. You should probably get maximum civilian infrastructure while I can remember to do this. And why not get that as well? Okay, this fight... My, uh... My dudes are doing pretty well. Up there fighting. Okay, they're fighting a bunch of Vasari ships. So I don't expect them to last long, but... They're dying for the cause, which is good. Okay, and I've got missiles now, which has indeed extended my range. So I can cover those guys a bit more. Although I really wish they'd pull back so I could, you know, shoot all my weapons at them. I also just realised I don't have bandy cam up properly. Hmm. I'm just gonna alt tab real quick and make anything bad. Doesn't crash. Power That's good. Okay, I don't know what that was like on your end, but for my end, the starbase just went crazy when I alt tab back in. Okay, as much as I'd like to watch that fight, shit, it's going down at my home world. Um, okay, how well are you defended? Very well. Well, kind of well. Um, I'll get, I won't get anything there. I've got a bunch of guns. Hopefully that's enough. I can't lose this world due to bombardment, and that includes noblest cannons. Uh, let's just see, let's just see what happens, I guess. I'll upgrade the structural integrity a bit more. I don't think I'm going to need docking booms, because I don't have any ships around here, or none stationed here that I'd need to defend. Um, I might get secondary trade facilities. Whoa! Something else has developed at my other world! Hi there, Titan! That's level 7! I see. Holy shit! Oh, all the Ogrovs! They're still alive! We've lost this world. Damn. Damn. Alright, we need to circle around. Hopefully my allies will take care of the rest of these dudes. Uh, that world's going to be very heavily defended and hard to kill. We're probably going to lose this world to culture. Uh, we don't have a trade. We don't have a prerequisites. That's annoying because they've blown up a bunch of our shit. Alright. Let's just replace all the stuff here. A friendly uh, fleet just that. That is a military lab. Okay. How's our homeworld? Homeworld seems fine. Structure oh complete. god. Damn, I thought we'd taken out all the Ogrovs. Damn. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Um, I'm just gonna wait for my fleet to get there, I think. A friendly fleet has arrived. Yeah, they gave me shields down, which is surprising. But I think I'm going to win that fight. Because there's not very much of them left. And my shield aren't the strongest point of my star base. So my fleet's on its way. Although it's still got two phase jumps to go. And it's got to go through a sun as well. Okay, looks like my broadcast center is back up and running. Which is good. Um, oh, they're sending their ships in to deal with... The whole thing that I don't have anything defending here. That's annoying. They've probably got enough to take it as well. Structure complete. Got a broadcast center and then a asteroid. Yep, sorry Orange, hope you're doing well. Um I'm moving on. Your orders! 
I've got a big problem back at home. A big problem. That's just leveled up. God damn it. Is there anything at the sun I should know about? No, just the reinforcements. Or enemy races just trickling, passing through. That's cool. That's alright. Damn, I guess they warped that, uh, uh, Titan in when I had the phase node on the planet due to their Vostra cannon. Or Kostra cannon, sorry. And there's nothing left up the whole world of the enemy. Excellent. Just how I like it. Alright, well, we're about to turn around and invade, so, um, if you want to see what happens, be sure to tune in next time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.